Hello, and welcome to Microsoft Mechanics Live. Every year at Ignite, we give the stage to the top scoring MVP sessions for theaters at Ignite. And today, it's my pleasure to give the stage to Andrew Bettany, who's going to talk about the journey for IT pros moving from on-premises into cloud and some of the resources that you'll want to use. So with that, you have the stage. Thanks very much. So. Thank you. So welcome, and so privileged to be here. So over 2,500 people pre-registered for this session on Monday for a 20-minute theater session. So it was quite a squeeze. And it was amazing to see those people at the beginning of Ignite being inspired to go and get certification and prove that they know their stuff. So what I'm going to do is break down the awareness of the problem. I'm going to look at some aims and goals for you. We're going to look at how you can build your skills to make you ready for a cloud-centered world. So the short version of this is keep learning, get certified, and stay ahead of the herd. Let's unpack that. So ask yourself, what technology will you be using in five years' time? Because you're either listening to this session or you're in person, you know that now. In five years' time, IT pros will start thinking about that problem in five years' time. So you've got a head start, and that's what we want to cap capitalize, capitalize, or capitalize on that now. That makes sense? So if we take a look at this technology adoption curve, I call it a Simon Sinek curve, curve because he portrayed it in one of his Start With The Why promotions, we can see that technology slowly, slowly builds, and then it tips over. There's a tipping point, at which point the majority take over. All right? So now let's take that curve and apply it to some of the technologies that we lo love and know. Who's using PowerShell? Show of hands. Everybody, congratulations, well done. We all, we do it on a weekly, on a daily basis, we use PowerShell. If we take PowerShell, we can see it's been adopted over the last 10 years. Okay, it's slow beginnings, and then all of a sudden, there's a huge rush. And you know where you adopted that technology, yes? Whether it was this year, last year, or five years ago. What about Office 365? It's the largest grossing product for Microsoft at this moment in time. It's doubling every year. Okay, so that's well advanced. Who's using 365? Wow. You know, so again, looking at the hands, it's slightly less than the PowerShell, but it's still a really popular product, yes? And it will continue to do so as Microsoft invests in the product. So Azure, the picture looks a little bit smaller because it's a newer product. So who's using Azure? OK, so you can see by the hands, it's a smaller, smaller number. But in three years' time, in five years' time, Azure will be the same as PowerShell. So your opportunity as an IT pro is to embrace at least these three technologies. And because Azure is still in its infancy, you know, that's a great opportunity for you. Do you agree? That's for you. So let's now unpack how you can get some help in making sure that you're the best IT pro moving to become an Azure pro. You can do this. You can apply this to 365 as well, Office 365, or even Microsoft 365. If I'd have drawn that picture, where's that at now? It's even smaller, isn't it? That's a great opportunity. So we've done this. More than 80% of you are using Office 365. And from the show of hands, about 60% of you are using Microsoft Azure. How many of your competitors, how many of your peers are that well aware of the current technologies? They're not. You are already ahead of the curve. So look into his eyes. They're piercing. They're meant to be. Because in three years' time, the majority of users will be using Windows 10. We know it's the rest of the technologies, the rest of the operating systems will be out of support. So you need to make sure that you're using Windows 10 and you're well-versed and certified with that technology, plus Azure, plus Office 365, so that you are a complete package on today's technologies. Let's have a look. My call out to you 
is to make a choice and get ahead of the herd. Don't be the guy on the left hand side working with legacy technology, win 32 apps. You know, I want you to look at future technology and where things are going. If you'd have betted on PowerShell right at the beginning, where would you be now? You're at that point right now with Azure. If you bet, if you double down on Azure, where are you going to be in five years' time? When the rest of your, I, our, I'm an IT pro, when the rest of our IT pro population wake up. Because, and what will make them wake up? Windows 10. Because in five years' time, in three years' time, what will, what will Windows 10 have become after another load of updates and upgrades? It will be more and more cloud first. So this is your calling. Get yourself cloud ready. Now you're going to say to me, look, whoa, I'm juggling. I'm juggling life. I'm juggling work. I'm juggling family. I haven't got no time to learn. I learn on the job. That's enough. And you need to ask yourself, are you really firefighting at work? Because if you're firefighting at work, then you've got no time to learn. Because your home time is your home time. Somehow you need to carve out some space. One hour a week, start basic, start small, to catch a video, to catch an, uh, a mechanics studio session. Keep learning. But what I want you to do is schedule that every week. Because then you'll start feeling more and more empowered to keep learning. Don't just wait till Ignite, guys. Ignite's fantastic, and you've learned so much this week. Empower yourself to do it on a weekly basis. OK? Now, what else do you need? You need some free stuff, yeah? Microsoft Learning are there to help you. They had a great booth. They had an immersion zone. They had a certification zone here this week. But they're still there. They've still got a website. They've still got people there all the time. Some of you will know this. How many in the house are certified already? Oh, that's, that's only about 30% of you guys. Let's hope next year when you come back, it's going to be 50 and 60 and 70%. Go to the Microsoft Learning website, see what they've got. Look at the learning paths. I'm going to unpack one or two on Azure right now so you can get a head start. They have some really good promotions from the, Windows, the Microsoft Azure team. They're saying, look, we need more of you guys who, uh, who do IT Pro so well to start embracing Azure. So go to the Azure skills training, learn it, get yourself ready. And what I'm aiming for is you to get ready for certification. Because once you can prove to your boss that you know Azure, he's going to let you play with those toys. You know, He's not going to let you play with, 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 with that, your estate. He's not even going to let it go to Azure until you're ready. He'll give it to someone else. Okay? We're not talking about changing jobs here. We're, change, we're talking about changing your role in your company. We need to raise the challenge. We don't want him to wait for three years' time and say, hey, we need to get an, an Azure pro in. That could be you. Make it you. Own it. If you like free stuff, there's free books from MS Press. You know, these are great, from IT Pro to Cloud Pro. Where do you think this session title came from? That is a really good read. And it covers Office 65, Azure, SharePoint Online, the whole toolbox. Read that on a weekend. Know where, the, where Microsoft is going, where IT Pro is moving to become an, a Cloud Pro. You can do this. If any of you got certifications, and about 30 or 40% of you did, take a look at the learning paths that Microsoft promote. This is where they'll give you a recommendation. They'll take your existing qualification now and help you to become an Azure specialist, an Azure qualified professional. And that's what you need. You know, and literally, within one or two exams, you can get the MCSA. With three or four exams, you can get the MCSE. And these are valuable qualifications. They're internationally recognized. All right? They mean something. For those of you who don't like exams, yeah, we don't like exams. They're hard. They're there to test you. If you ask somebody who's passed an exam, how was it? They'll say it was good. They enjoyed it. It was taxing, but it was good. If you ask someone who failed the exam, what will they tell you? Oh, it was too hard. It didn't cover any of the material that I studied on. Where's the disconnect there? What did they do? Did they not prepare for the exam? Did they not follow the guidelines that Microsoft push out there? Follow the guidelines, use the study prepar preparation materials, whether or not it's the 
the exam reference books, the instructor-led training, whatever you need, go and get that training, and then set the exam prepared. The exam replay is a great way to get an insurance policy where if you take the exam and you fail, they'll let you take it again. We used to call that the second shot in the past. It's now called exam replay. So another barrier to entry. Where's your nearest test center? Is it 100 miles away? 50 miles, 10 miles? What about your bedroom? Seriously, you can take a Microsoft certified exam at home. All right. 30% of all exams are now delivered in IT Pro's homes. You just need a laptop with a webcam. You sit there. It's an online proctored exam. It works nice. Yeah, I take all my exams now at home. I could go 10 miles, but why bother? Yeah, it works. Try it. So whilst you're at Ignite, you had a 40% discount off any Microsoft exam. And that is likely to happen again next year. So make sure you put that in your calendar if you come back to Ignite next year. Now, that's not all. We listened to you last year, and you said, well, that's great, but I'm really busy with, a, with, with, with breakouts and, and great mechanic sessions. What about when I get home? How can I continue my love and get on with learning? So look, for, 40, sorry, for 30 days until the end of October, there's another discount of 30% off, sorry, here we are, 40% discount off your exams after Ignite. Take it. All right. So to wrap up, it's your life, it's your career. You need to change, potentially change, I'm not, I don't want to preach. You need to potentially change the way you're doing things to become more cloud enabled. The tools are there, the help is there. All you have to do is make that decision and reach out and start consuming this. 10 years ago, when I changed from becoming uh, an accountant person to become an IT pro, and then I became a Microsoft certified trainer, and then MVP, and it, it's crazy since then, I read a book. And this book was called Who Moved My Cheese? Now, it's not a big book. I'm not, I don't want to take you away from learning. This is 32 pages. And it tells you a little story about someone who didn't change and someone who did change. It changed my life. I promise you, it could change yours. Read that, make that change. And come back next year and shake my hand and say, I took your advice. I'm now an MCSA on Azure. OK? With that, um, thank you, and I hope to see you next time. All right, big round of applause for Andrew. Thank, Thank you, you everybody. So also make sure that you're checking out Microsoft.com slash mechanics. We also try to make sure that we're keeping up to date with the latest cloud technologies, really to, again, help you on this path, this journey, as you're, as you're learning about more and more of the new technologies, cloud management, Azure, Office 365, everything there. Let's give a big round of applause one more time for Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. If you're watching at home, thanks for watching this, this show for Microsoft Mechanics Live, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>